Where's my autofocus? Hey, hi. I don't know how to focus. Oops. All right, let's see. Jonathan's gonna have to edit. Edit me good. Come on. Camera. I guess maybe I'm supposed to do something like this. Am I supposed to like, I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Ah, oh, glory. You can actually see now. block. This is our ice bar chick who's looking rather mad that I've stuck him or her on this on this uh, display here. Um, I'm sorry, did I stress you out? I'm getting I'm getting like the stink eye over here. Um, but this is our ice bar chick. We do not know whether this is a um, male or female, but this is two weeks. Two weeks old. We wanted to show you the new chick on their block because we um, didn't get to record our trio at their two week mark. Now they are three weeks, so we're going to show you two and three weeks in one. Um, but this is how. Well, I'm getting so much. I'm getting so much sass and personality. I'm so sorry. Here, here. Let's um. Let's show off your wings. So this is an ice bar. No feathers on the legs. Nice. Um, dark leg coloring. Then look at these wings. Oh my gosh, see how that many more feathers there are? It's, but I think before when we showed you, we could only see those primary feathers. Now we're getting feathers all across the wings. Still the body is baby fluff. So this little baby still needs, still needs a warmer, still needs, um, uh, still needs to be in a pretty protected area, especially in the cold weather. Look how serious you are. You look like you look like a little dinosaur. The females lay mossy green eggs, and Magnus is the daddy of this chick. Um, so we just started hatching these ones out. Um, this cute little one is two weeks old. So we've got those tail feathers and getting pretty big. You can see by the size of my hand. Um, this is, this is growing up, this chicken's growing on up. Here's Frida, here's three week old Frida. Um, and look how many feathers she has. She's like, what in the world? This is so funny how aware they are. I'm keeping my hand on her because this isn't, um, she's turned into a real chicken, going places and doing things. Being alert, listening to the sounds in the garage. Um, we have to check her band on her leg to make sure that it can still slide loosely up and down her leg. Otherwise, we'll clip it off and put a new one on. So she's got feathers all the way up her wing, in her tail. Um, she's still in our stock tank. Uh, they haven't tried flapping out yet. Oh my gosh, you are so funny. You are so funny. Oh, sorry. So um, this is Frida. <laughs> and you can tell they've developed quite their own personality. She's starting to get neck feathers in. So we're not quite fully feathered, which means that um, still need that warmer. Um, and, you know, uh, not quite flighty, so not gonna take advantage of the roosting bars or going up a ladder or anything like that. These are still babies. So we're gonna check out Frankie next um, and see what Frankie's up to. Well, here's Frankie. Frankie is protesting this just slightly. <laughs> um, feathering coming in nicely, do you see? Um, band is, I think Jonathan rebanded Frankie this week um, just to make sure that he or she is not getting too tight, growing too fast for this. So, um, Frankie's got a lot to say. See, I don't know if you can see, I'm like,
What do you think? Now don't jump off the table, please. That would not be good. All right, so you see all these feathers coming in. So I would say Frankie is actually pretty close to being able to be without the warmer. I see feathers everywhere and at the bottom of the neck. See on, her, on the back? They're starting to come in on her back. His or her back, right down the middle there. I don't know if, there we go. You can see that better. Feathers are coming in on the back. And I mean, really developing quite a bit of personality. Yeah. This is our Moran. I guess she's blue. Um, we're seeing them as their feathers come in and so the uh, color changes, but definitely not a black, black chicken. This is a blue. You got your coloring from your daddy, from Mustafar. All right, let's go check on our breast. Ooh. Yeah, let's go on back. We'll practice our roosting. And we used to hold our lang shams like this all the time. Our first chickens, we would sit out on the porch and just hold them on our hands, let them perch on our hands. They're so sweet. Even though this uh, Frankie's not not loving the ride. Here's our Goliath of a <laughs> of a breast chick. Oh my gosh! Yes, tell us. We still didn't lo like lock in on. Um, Locking on a name, I guess we should have by now. Look how alert they are and look how massive. Oh my gosh, you're so big. See my hand here? Yes, you are so big and yep, there you go. That's how you felt about that. Oh my goodness, so big. Feathers and just such a big chicken. Are you gonna go all over the place here? <laughs> so, woo, woo. So, chick holding 101. When you hold a chick, if you hold, make, cup your hand underneath, and then you cup your hand on top. Oh my gosh, you're having none of this. Hold on. Okay, okay. Chill, chill. Chill, chill, chill. So you cup your hand underneath, and you cup your hand on top to cover the wings. And then that way a chicken feels a lot more secure um, and doesn't feel like flapping all over the place. So anyway, this chicken is growing a lot faster than the other two. This is a dual purpose bird um, used for meat and for eggs. And so you can see why it's growing um, at a much faster rate. Happy Friday, everyone. Here we are with Frankie and Frida and Furby, the breast chick. And we have a new kid on the block, a Silver Rudd's Blue, formerly called Ice Bar Chick, that's joined. Um, this is our little, our little YouTube chick, Ben, right here. And they are all hiding under the warmer since I just videoed them and they're tired of me messing with them right now. Um, but there they are. Good little chicky chickies in there. There's Furby coming on out. Fergie. Fergie. Y'all, it's hard when we have so many names and so many things. So they're still happy in the stock tank here. Haven't gotten to where they want to fly out yet. Um, and still, still at the baby stage, needing their warmer, but they are pretty chill in here. And um, yeah, we'll get back to you next week when they are at that transitional stage of four weeks old. Wild times. See you next time.